He was a man of prayer. And if you go to the book of, just read the book of Psalm, he said, Deliver me from blood, guiltiness, verse 14. Oh God, thou God of my salvation, my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. It is a man of prayer. There is something unique. You see, God, as God told Samuel, you understand? When we we'll come to that anyway, you will see it. Some of the qualities about this man that is called after God's own heart in 1 Samuel chapter 16. When God called, when God sent Samuel to the ass of Jesse, who is the father of, of uh, what do you call it, of David, when God sent Samuel there, something happened. Now, Samuel, Jesse brought all the children, and uh, when Samuel saw the senior son, Helia, and the Bible says he saw, you know, Paul, I mean Saul. The king Saul is also a very tall man, very tall and huge man. When they made him king, the Bible says he was tall and everybody was just, you know, he was very tall and huge man. And then when he came to the house of David and he saw any of the snow brown, he was also very tall, looked like Saul. And then Samuel was saying, oh, this is the man. But the Lord said, Samuel, no, 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 this is not the man. That I, the Lord, I, 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 I mean, the way I see is not, I'm paraphrasing now, the way I see is not the way man sees. You man, you look at the outward appearance, but I see the heart. So I want to understand what we are saying when we say David is a man of prayer. Yes, Elijah prayed. Yes, Elijah prayed. Yes, Moses prayed. But uh, David, there is something unique. God says his heart. There is something unique in that man that made him a man of prayer. Read the book of Psalms, you'll see the prayers of David praying today, praying today. But I mean, um, um, uh, many of the scriptures that David, um, in fact, um, um, what do you call it, Psalm 54, it says, Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the word of my man. I can't read all the old Psalms. But you will see this man was a man of prayer. David depicts the nature of Jesus Christ. Jesus was also a man of prayer. Don't forget that Jesus came out from the lineage of who? Of David. Jesus came from the line of David. As he said, Jesus Christ said, whatever I do, I do not do it by my own. It is what I see the Father do. That's what, what, that's what I do. I do not come here by my own authority. I came in the authority of the Lord, the God Almighty. Jesus was a man of prayer. He prayed. He spent time, you see, when he, when he would be with the crowd. After some time, the Bible says that we would draw himself to what? To a solitary place to pray. This is the man David. I mean, David, David was a king leading a young nation, but he had time to pray. Jesus, Jesus was happy about to perform on him. Every day, he was happy. He was healing the sick. He was raising the dead. He was feeding them. He was giving them the word. But he had time to pray. Jesus was very busy. To be a king is a busy man. You think to be a king, uh, because you are a king, uh, just sleep. All of you go and fight. All of you go, go. Where's my food? I didn't bring my food. Just go, go and do anything. It's not like that, too. They are walking. Their brain is walking. The next thing. Because if, this, if the king falls, if the king. If the king did anything as at that time that is wrong, it affects what? It affects everybody. So, David was a man of prayer, just like Jesus Christ, who is the Lord of all. Are you so busy that you don't have time to pray? That in the past, people say, some preachers say about some people, maybe when they are in school, you see, we we'll give excuses. And God, you know, I'm so busy. When I finish school, I will have time to pray. And then you finish school, you got a job. You say, God, this job is so busy. You see, I wake up very five o'clock, and I'm, I'm already gone. I come back very late, and I'm tired. When I need that, I just doze. Lord, if I get to a particular position, it's because I'm in the lower position. You know, they, they continue to load you with, with work. When you have not got God promotion, I need promotion. If I have promotion, Lord God Almighty, I will have time to pray. And then promotion suddenly came. You become you became the uh, deputy manager or the assistant manager, and you now saw the workload. And I tell you, our brother and sister, we're not seeing the job, right, my brother? Please be praying for me. You don't have time. 
As one of our brothers in those days said, <laughs> one of my was in secondary school, the brother said, many people in that situation, they would just wake up in the morning and say, God, I thank you. Bless me today in Jesus' name. Amen. How they go? No time to pray. But David found a man. I mean, found, found time to pray the Lord. David is not just a man of prayer. David is a man of praises. A man that praises God at all times. Learn to praise God. Now you will say, Paul and Salah praise the Lord and the, 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 the guests were, were shaking. The children of Israel, the children of Israel in the time of Ezekiah, they praised God in the beauty of his holiness. And the Lord defeated the enemy. What is so special about this man praises? Read the book of Psalm. No more about this man. Who said, praise the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, great heavens, and so on and so forth. Psalm 140, uh, 100 and, uh, what do you call it? 150. Psalm 150, Psalm 100. And, I mean, there are many of them. We can't finish there. We can't finish, finish, finish there. But Psalm 140, praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. And it goes to Psalm 150. Praise you the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise him in the family of praise. Praise, 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 praise. You see this man praising God at all times. Always praising God in the book of Psalm, you see many of the of the of the um, 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 what do you call it praises that uh, David gave to God. Psalm 38. I will praise Thee with my whole heart. How we praise the Lord? How we praise the Lord? How we praise the Lord with my whole heart? With my whole heart, I will praise the Lord, precious people. Praise, I will praise him with my whole heart, David said. I will praise him before the gods which I sing praise unto. Before the gods will I sing praise unto them. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou art magnified thy word above all thy name. He was a man of praise. He learned to pray even as a king. He learned to to praise God. We need to praise God in circumstance, in difficult situation. It got to a time, the Bible says, it got to one time that David was uh, was I think, running away from uh, was he running away from Saul now? And um, the the people that were well that were that he left behind, when they came back, some other people have come to raid the whole land and they carry their wives away and their children carry their teens. And the Bible says that when they came back, the people thought of doing what? Stoning David. Because David was the one that caused everything. The Bible says David encouraged himself what? In the Lord. I believe he praised the Lord. And David, as a man of prayer, again, he prayed. He said, God, shall I pursue? Will I overtake? The Lord said, what? Pursue, overtake, and you will recover all. He prayed and he praised the Lord. And the thought I want to consider again in the book of Psalm 19. David was a man of the world. Ah, this man is complete. He is fully loaded. He is complete. Paul said, I'm complete in him. I'm complete in Christ. He is complete. A man of the world. The word of God. He says in Psalm 119, verse 105, he said, Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. In Psalm 119, verse 11, he said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against thee. He was a man. He had time. You know, during this time, they only have the I mean, they only have the commandment God has given to them. Because God said they should write the commandment in their forehead. At the, at, um, they should write the commandment in their forehead. Write it by their doctors. Write it by their, by their shares. Everywhere. They should write the commandment everywhere. And David was always meditating. Meditating in the word of God. Meditating in God's commandment. Meditation, meditation, meditation. He was involved. He was a man of the world. And that's why Jesus Christ was a man of the world. When the devil came to him, you see, when the devil manipulates, when the devil tried to manipulate, you understand? Know, try to manipulate Jesus Christ and say it is written. Jesus Christ said, No, 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 it is written. You are not giving that interpretation very well. It is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou worship. 
Jesus was a man of the world. David was a man of the world. David was in the Old Testament, Jesus was in the New Testament. I will say something about this man. So, all through this series, I want you to log in to this series of David. Just give me an introduction of who this man is a unique man. Very soon you will see why we say he's a man of prayer. Very soon you will see why we say he's a man of the world and a man that loves to praise God. You will see it. And you should have that desire within you to be like this man. God, I want to be a man after your heart. 